In August of 2022, I began the process of applying for a school visa to study in the United States. I was working on my school and visa application for about five months and it was a lot of work. In December of 2022, I received my visa and moved from Sweden to the US alone. Here's how it went and how it's been going. Today is Thursday, December 8th. Could you even see that? Hopefully you can see that. And I am about to go get my documents from the embassy. I'm not going to the embassy because the embassy is in Stockholm and I don't live anywhere near Stockholm. But they sent me my stuff back. I don't know exactly what they sent me. I think probably they sent me results of if I'm getting a visa or not. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get the stuff that they sent me and we'll see, I guess, what the results are. I am so nervous. Okay, I just got back from the store to pick up my visa, maybe. Um, I opened it already um, and maybe as you can tell, by my face. I got a visa. Here's my visa. I got a visa, so I guess I'm going to America. So this is the chaos that I woke up to today. I just have my stuff everywhere and then my suitcases that I'm gonna fill up. And then over here I have all of the art that I want to bring with me. It's quite a few things. But yeah, I'm basically gonna get all of this stuff into two suitcases. So. I spent the next few days packing, having a whirlwind of emotions and stressing out about whether I had everything I needed to enter the United States legally. Making up scenarios in my head of border control not letting me into the country. You know, the usual stuff. As I'm doing this voiceover, it has been over three months since I moved to America. I mentioned briefly in the beginning of the video that I'm going to school here, and I thought I would reflect on how my first three months of living in this new environment has been. When I first got here, I had about a month before school started, so I had some time on my hands to do whatever I wanted. After I had spent months working on my visa and school application, I mostly just wanted to relax and not do much at all when I finally arrived. I spent the first few weeks primarily getting used to being in a new environment. America is very different from where I come from. It's bigger and there is more noise here compared to the calm and quiet place that I come from in northern Sweden. Everything in my life is different now, so it took some time to get used to things and as I'm doing this voiceover, I still feel like I have not fully adjusted. It's a lot more challenging than I expected it to be to move to a new country. Everyone understands that moving to a new country is something that is not easy, but experiencing it and having to go through the challenges that comes with it were things that I never thought about before moving. Of course, I understood that I would miss my home and my family and being away from that was going to be difficult. But something that I did not think about was the fact that I was going to have to create new routines for myself. I feel like now that I have been here for a little over three months, I have finally been able to create a new routine. But it took me a while to do that, and I did not realize the value of having a routine in my life until it got taken away from me. It was hard to focus on things in the beginning like making art or videos because my body and brain were confused after being uprooted from my childhood home and the country I had lived in for my entire life. I expected to arrive in a new country and instantly jump back into everything I knew, like making art and videos, which was a big part of my routine before moving. And I know that it might sound silly, but being creative is something that is especially important to me, so the fact that I could not really make much art or any videos in the beginning because of the challenge of adjusting was quite hard for me. I have had to have a lot of patience for myself especially in the first month and a half, and I have had to take things step by step as I figure out this new way of living. Even though I mentioned the fact that I feel like I have not fully adjusted yet, I am getting there, and I have adjusted a lot. Something that really fascinates me about being human is our ability to adjust to anything and everything. It's in our nature, and it's a survival instinct. Even when you feel like something is too difficult to do and you will never be able to get through it or get over it, we always do and I think that that is beautiful. The culture difference is obvious every day as I am in America. Although Sweden and America both belong to Western culture, there is still a difference in the people and systems in society which I will not get into in this video. 
I know that as more time passes by, the things that I struggle with now will get easier, but there will also always be new challenges to face because that's life, the endless cycle of ups and downs. Some days are more difficult than others, but overall, I'm so happy that I moved and did it, and I am always going to be so proud of myself for achieving my childhood dream of moving to a new country. Hi! Before the video ends, I just wanted to do an outro. I guess to do like a few more updates. I haven't really filmed any clip of me like actually here in America, in my home, like sitting down talking. I currently live with my boyfriend's parents and my boyfriend obviously. And I'm currently in my little like art room. They very generously gave me this room to make art in and to do homework in. So that's been really nice. I've been like slowly decorating it. I don't really feel finished yet. I feel like I still have a few things that I want to do, but it's been really nice to have like this little art space because when I was living in Sweden, if you didn't know, I had an art studio and this is like my new art studio and it's been really nice. Also, I live on a road that has a lot of traffic, so you're probably gonna hear a lot of cars. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of sketchbooking here in America because I haven't really like felt the inspiration to do a finished piece, but I've been wanting to make art, so I've just done like a bunch of sketches. In the sketchbook, I got the Stratmore mixed media sketchbook inspired by the one and only little star nerd and it's been so much fun I just like have had a lot of great times in this sketchbook um, but yeah I literally only have like two and a half weeks left of my spring semester in college and then I am done with the first half of my year that was a very loud car and I'm also going to be going back to Sweden in like two weeks two and a half weeks maybe or three weeks three weeks so that's gonna be really nice my boyfriend's gonna come with me and i'm very excited about that i'll probably try to film that um and i have filmed a lot of art here i just like haven't really had the time to upload anything but i hope that i'll be able to do more of that i haven't really like figured out how to do like a good light like a good light setup yet so the clips might not be great but it's art at least and yeah i think that's like all i wanted to say i hope that you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one have a great day goodbye